Hey everybody, so for today's quick tip, we wanna take a look at uh, two axis profiling and side roughing. Uh, this gives you the ability to walk the tool into a profile uh, and allowing you to say how many passes it's gonna take in order to get up to the finished shape. A uh, very useful feature. You can see uh, I'm uh, profiling down these uh, chamfers here on the side of the part and then also these open pockets. I, also use the profile side roughing to just get in there and to machine that area. Now, sometimes you can use a larger tool so you can get it in one pass. Uh, other times, uh, depending on the equipment or the project or the, the tools that you're using or available to you, you may need to use side roughing. Now, let's take a look at the simulation just so it's really clear exactly what's happening here. Uh, instead of taking a single pass, You'll see how the tool is gonna to walk its way into the profile. Uh, these open areas here, I'd probably cut them differently, but again, uh, good for demonstration purposes, where instead of taking a single pass with the profile, we wanna take multiple passes uh, in order to get to the finished shape. So let's look at how to set this up, and it's actually pretty, pretty simple to do. Uh, I'm just gonna take this file here and copy it. I'll create a new file and I'll paste it. So that will give us our geometry here. Uh, we'll run through and, and get the job set up. So we're gonna do a new job. Uh, I'm gonna set the zero on the, bottom of, on the bottom of the job in today's example. Okay. All right, so we have the part set up. Uh, now we need to load in our, our tool pass, right? So we're gonna load a profile feature, mill to axis, select geometry. I'm gonna start with just one of them. So I'll pick this line here. Uh, this is my chain. I'll make sure that it's cutting in the proper direction and then I'll tell it how deep I want it to cut and we'll choose OK. Now from here, I'm just going to uh, remove the other operation. I'm just going to add a lead to the part and then I'll compute. Uh, this way we can see uh, the toolpath with a single pass. OK, so you can see it's just taking one pass right now and coming out. Uh, what we wanted to do is to walk into that profile. So we're going to edit our feature. We're gonna go to our patterns. And today we're talking about side roughing. So we'll turn on side roughing. Uh, here we can tell it how much material is left. I'm gonna say a half inch. And then number of passes, what it will do, if we set this to five, it will take number of passes, uh, five divided by the half inch in order to get your step over, okay? Uh, once we've set that, we can go ahead and compute. And you can see how it's taking multiple passes. Uh, in order to, to side rough, okay, to w work its way into the profile. Again, a very, very useful feature and easy to set up and use, okay? If we want to add this other uh, chamfer to our selection, we can just go to geometry, reselect, click on this edge. Again, we want to make sure this chain is cutting in the proper direction, so we'll set it. We'll click OK, and then we'll recompute, and you can see we get side roughing on that side as well. If you de determine that you need to add more material or more passes, you can just come back and edit our setting. We can go to patterns, you know, maybe there's 750, and we want to take it in eight passes. We can recompute, and then it will update for any of our changes there. Okay. Now, on these. Uh, these open pockets, really, I probably would cut this as an open pocket, but just to, to show you uh, how you could use it in one of those scenarios, uh, what I'm going to do is just copy this feature and I'm going to paste the feature. Uh, this will keep a lot of the same settings that I've already used. I'm going to right click on our geometry and choose reselect. Um, in this case, I could go around and click on all the edges that I want to work with, but I do have a trick for you. Uh, when you're dealing with open edges on a solid, just right click on one of the edges and choose constant Z. Uh, that will select all the edges that are at the same Z location and then just click on the open end or to deselect the one edge that you don't want to machine, okay? Uh, we'll come in here and pick our bottom. Uh, again, our, our chain is going the right way. We'll go ahead and choose okay and then we'll recompute and you can see we get multiple passes over there. Uh, if we want to add the same thing to this side, again, we can reselect our geometry, uh, right click on this edge, choose constant Z. You'll see how it selects all the way around. We're going to deselect this edge here. We have our two chains. 
Again, we wanna make sure this chain is cutting in the proper direction. So we'll set that, we'll choose okay and recompute. 